This training video will introduce you to two new capabilities in HLS. One is Manage Channel Folders, and the second one is a Fill Channel. Um, I just brought up the, uh, uh, the sequence that I've been using that has the Megatree and some other things on. So it's already an established sequence. Let's go into Manage Channels and you will see the result of introducing folders. This is how you add folders at the top. You add a folder, you copy to a folder, you paste a folder. There's a brand new help button. The help button can introduce you to all the various things you can do. The purpose of a folder is here's a Megatree folder. If I click on Megatree, you'll notice then I have all my Megatree channels. But, just like a folder in, in your Windows, you can collapse that folder and it's there. There's also a thing called a super folder. A super folder is something what this is what I call super arch. It contains multiple folders. I have an arch 50 and an arch 60. I can do an arch 50 and here's my arch 50, close it. Here's my arch 60 and I can close it. If I check expand folder, it'll just expand everything. Same here for roofline. So in this way, you can go ahead and you can create folders and put your, um, your objects, if you want a better word, your mega trees, your mini trees, your window or your roof line, your windows. You can put those into quote various channel folders which will really clean this up and make it a whole lot easier to work with. So that is folders. Let's go ahead and exit out. The other thing is called a fill channel. The idea of a fill channel is we'll be moving into create, um, creating custom um, effects, basically pixel effects like Nutcracker or Madrix. Um, one of the things, if we can, uh, let's look at the existing playing. This happens to be, if you recall, the Megatree playing. And this is a Nutcracker effect over here. It's called Meteors. And it's a nice variety of, of pixels falling the famous to, the, uh, to the ground. Okay? The idea is what happens with we can we, 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 we can have a, a an effect that has pixels or effect information, but the background is back uh, black. What happens if we want to put a fill in that background? Now, what I've done here is something very simple, but it's just to give you an idea of what you can do. Under manage channels, there is now create a fill channel. I've created a fill channel called Megatree, fill Megatree. I've assigned that fill channel along with my Megatree pixel plane. These are the two. And this is what you're seeing here. Here's my fill channel. All I've done on my fill channel is I've gone from, let's see if we can uh, modify this effect here. Let's not go from zero. Let's go from 50 to 100. So we change that effect. Let's modify this effect. We're going to go to 50 also. It's going to black. I just don't want to go to black. Here's another one. Just to give you an example. And lastly is yellow. Now, this effect, it happens to be an RGB channel. It has associated with it all of the channels with this pixel plane. Okay? What it does is when you engage the fill channel, when your, in this case, pixel plane is playing, whenever the pixel plane has a black background where there are no effects, it will be filled in with whatever is in your fill channel. Now your fill channel can be black too, but I've just put these various colors in there so you can see. Now just to show you, we've got a fill channel, but 
it's not affecting anything right now because we have not engaged it. As you can see, we have our mega tree playing. Let's engage it. We do that by engaging master lighting. That happens to engage the lighting channels and also the fill channels. Now, we're going to go ahead. Now, we're going to get our lighting channel. We'll just say, okay, we're not going to do anything with our master lighting, but we're going to say, okay. Now, what's happened is this fill channel, this color in the fill channel and intensity will now fill the background of that effect. Here we go. So what you see you can do now, you can take your effect, but you can turn around and play with the background color at the same time. I just did solid colors. You could do a variety of changing colors, etc. So that new capability is called a fill channel. You can do whatever you want in the fill channel, and whatever is in the fill channel will fill in the black of the channels associated with it, thereby filling in the non-effect areas. I hope you enjoy that new capability. Enjoy.